Okay. So I'm going to put up this cartoon that I made because I was listening to Dan Winter and I had a realization about stuff. Um, right now, there's the world is waking up to the, the narcissist and the empath, okay? And if you're on this channel and you're here to um, spread light and unity and, and love, then um, you are aware of this dynamic and the, the idea of a narcissist is laughable. Like, oh, <laughs> you know, someone lied to you and they're blaming you and they're gaslighting you. And no, you get the sociopath, the psychopath, the alphabet agencies, their whole families and all the horses they rode in on. Okay. So we're already, we know, right? We know. And I, okay. I was listening to Dan Winter and he was talking about charge. Any electrical field that has velocity is information, okay? And in order to have velocity, it has to have symmetry, okay? And um, hmm, that's your aura, okay? And it just clicked because um, in the Bible, it says um, in Isaiah 45 something, uh, it says, God will call you by name. Okay. And I also ordered a book about um, how to cast out dark entities. Okay. And, and the lady was saying, well, they often know you by name. And I was like, yeah, I kind of do feel like I'm famous as far as that. <laughs> But it, then it clicked because it, we're talking on different dimensional levels, okay? So your aura is a cohesive aura, is an aura that would be um, able to take compression and be non-destructive with it okay so in in a physical sense that's like saying it's able to take all the bad stuff and alchemize it well how is it able to do that it has to do that within symmetry and of course following dan winter if you're a fan of dan winter he's already you know simplified that too it's the golden ratio which allows you to recursively re-enter yourself without stumbling upon yourself so that you can not only be self-aware it also creates something called a translation of vorticity, okay? So that is when you're taking a wave, which is an electromagnetic frequency, which you are emitting, okay? And you're also dealing with electromagnetic frequencies through the ether, okay? When you're able to cohere them with the golden ratio, which is, um, it's, it's, cohering with the earth, it's grounding because you're an electrical being and grounding is incredibly important, but you're also cohering with yourself because the golden ratio or the Fibonacci sequence is the Schumann harmonic cascade, which is the brainwave harmonic, or the brain waves that lead to peak perception, bliss, and um, it it's also coheres with the hydrogen rungs in your DNA, which also work within these ratios of phi. And it's, okay, when you take the, 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 uh, the transverse electromagnetic wave into these ratios that you're producing with your body and cohering with the earth, that wave transforms into a longitudinal electromagnetic wave, which is the only um, velocity that we know as gravity. Okay, so gravity works at ratios of phi uh, from the Fibonacci's. Now that longitudinal wave is what coheres your aura and allows you to bend magnetic lines that is what is allowing you to bring memory through death it's what it was allowing you to leave your body when you're sleeping and have lucid dreaming it's that's the spaceship of your soul okay because your mind and your heart both cohere with these ratios and that's how you're able to take this 
um, electromagnetic longitudinal wave that is actually the, the gravity wave, creating this spooky distance and action that Einstein was always talking about, right? And you're able to cohere with all distilled truth because it's a shareable wave that is able to take non-truths, which are destruction, right? And make them non-destructive. It's able to push through. So this is how you're able to go through time, time reversal, um, time travel. It's, it's all done through the, the vehicle of yourself. Okay. Now, this gets into your name, like, because the alphabet was created by looking at larger plasma beings and the, the, the vortices that they made, the spiral within the vortices as it's changing angles, angels, right? So this is the Elohim. Um, that's what the, the, uh, the, the first alphabet, that's how it was created because sound waves are longitudinal and they make noise. Guess what? Gravity makes noise. So when you're cohering with the earth, you're buzzing, you're loud, your aura is huge. You're going to get noticed. People know your name. You're creating these vortices with these angles. You're writing it out. And then Dan actually talks about what making the L is. And it's, it's the, it's the, when you're taking these EMFs, that are transverse and you're turning them into the longitudinal EMF that goes through time and space. It's called creating the L, E-L. My name's Elizabeth, so it's called making um, a, a shift, a phase shift. You are literally creating a different energy within the room and the pressure is going to change. and you know, I've, I've had dreams of, 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 you know, guides trying to teach me how to do this. And, you know, when you really wake up, you're like, my God, my entire life has been trying to show me how to do this right back to like the narcissist and the, and the empath, right? Um, how to be, how to keep the, the gravity that you're holding, how to hold yourself in your own atmosphere and, and, and change others by being the dominant name in the room. So I just thought this was really cool. I, and I wanted to share it, you know, if, if your name's like Elizabeth or Alicia or whatever, it doesn't matter. Names are always significant anyways. Look up, you know, the meaning of your name. Elizabeth means consecrated to God, but it also means the abundance of God. And that is literally a phase shift rising up into a different dimension you know and it uh, we are right now with all of these solar flares the <laughs> the amount of energy that we have to transmute right now is insane and i've noticed this whenever we're getting upgrades from the the solar rays my mind will get stuck on the mental planes because in order to push through it had it has to sort out what's going on with the mental body right and we're all still here in 3d because we're still choosing sides we're still playing duality so i get i'm caught up in the people who like don't want to who think the fibonacci spiral is a like going to bring you to a bad timeline right now because that's all fear and when we get down to to the basis of it like uh, <laughs> all geometry is not good or bad it's it's how you're going to use it and um you have the ability to transmute any sort of waves from what's going on inside of you, right? But um, so as, as we get the, the solar radiation, it, it's a good reminder for unity. So just notice what mind battles you're going through right now because 
however you're seeing it in your head, like you, there's truth to all things. And the reason why we have destructive forces is to realize the, the alchemy of all things, to become the whole thing, you know? Like, um, if you really think about it, there is only one reality, the maker and the creator. And then if we all split off into different pieces, the illusion is there that we're not whole. And so they, they always say everyone has their own unique snowflake, but we would not be able to produce those without each other. We wouldn't be able to make the holes in, in, in the hole, like the, the holes, the, the shapes within the snowflake without each other. So whatever you're putting into the field, other people are assimilating, right? So then you have to really tell yourself that actually like light and dark work together. And I'm gonna stop it there. Um, I wanted to show everyone my shirt from Walmart. Um, just kidding. <laughs> but it is from Walmart and I got it for a dollar.